What's up, YouTube? I'm here to show best builds for Blookit Tower Defense. We're going to be focusing on the queens and these little tax toucans here. It's really important because at round 12, enemies uh, come out as ghosts starting round 12. So you really need to set your strategy up prior to the rounds. So kind of let me show you what I did first, okay? So I set up the scroll first. I almost max it out completely before round 12. All you really need is the squirrel and a unicorn to take out all of the blukes. And as you kind of see, I only lost like one little life, okay? Make sure that you buff up the squirrel uh, one round. You buy the tax two can another round. Buff up the squirrel. Max out the tax two can. You kind of go back and forth. And then prior to round six, this is super important. Prior to round six, there's all these blukes that come out really fast. Make sure you put a unicorn down here to kind of cover and hedge your, your uh, bets here. And because I added another toucan here, this is all before round 12, I was able to buff up this queen in two turns, all before round 12 when the ghosts come out. So I'm kind of going to show you now, right? So now the reason why this is important is because now this right here, this queen, okay, can give, provides detection to any of the towers that can't detect. So we're talking about the fish can't detect. Okay, the moose can't detect. The wizard. These are all great towers that can't detect. So you need to have a queen and... and in the before round 12, definitely before round 30, initially, the unicorn can't detect. This is really important. So you need queens. Now, you're not going to make it past round 30 if you don't have cash. Okay, so make sure you put some toucans in as well. So you need queens and toucans. It's very, very important before round 12, definitely before round 30. You're not going to have enough money. So let's check it out for a second, okay? I'm just going to show you what happens uh, and, and initially here. So this unicorn cannot detect ghosts so i'm actually going to put one over here and because i have a lot of cash okay i have enough so check it out look oh see that one little unicorn didn't even well you kind of couldn't really see it because you got blocked but this one little unicorn didn't even shoot anything because it couldn't detect it and the squirrel was enough to take it out so now in these um situations right here you got a couple things you can do i'm going to start just flooding in cash with the toucan here I'm just going to just dump in a boatload of cash. I'm not even going to even do anything because these towers, these three towers should be enough to hold them off like just a little bit. You can kind of see right here for a second. And because I max out the two cans all before round, you know, 12-ish or so, I'm going to be able to max out these uh, unicorns. So as you can see, it wasn't enough, right? It wasn't enough. So now because I have a boatload of cash up here, because I have the two cans, I'm going to start maxing out the unicorn. I'm going to do the one down here because it has a bigger, uh, wider spread for a second. And then the next turn, I'll be able to, the next two turns, I'll be able to buff it up completely. So let's kind of see here. Now remember, they went all the way down over here. And like I said, the best build is using these support blukes the queen, the two tax, the two tax, two cans down here. So check it out. Last time they kind of went all the way through, and you're kind of going to see in a second. Perfect. Didn't make it. So kind of go back over here. Again, I'm going to focus on buffing these up completely. I might want to add another uh, toucan here so I can just keep on building up my uh, cash reserves. And let's see if these two unicorns are enough because they're almost at a uh, max build in a second. Remember, they went all the way down here. Perfect. So as you can see, two unicorns and a squirrel is enough to keep uh, the evil blukes at bay. Now, round 20, you're going to get a tank. Okay, you're going to get one of those bigger blukes, the obsidian bluke. I think the little cow-looking color bluke. I don't really know. So now I'm going to actually just buff this one up again. And now I'm gonna just going to buff this one up again down here so I can get a lot of coins. We're going to see what happens. Remember, they're kind of stopped here. Again, this is super important. You need to be able to start adding queens to provide detection for ghosts and getting lots of cash. You don't really need to buy any more towers. I see a lot of people buying like... 50,000 towers, okay? You need to really, these three towers should be able to hold them at bay till like round 20 or so, giving me time to buff up this uh, tax toucan. My goal is to have about four of these all the way maxed out before round 20. Let's kind of see if this is going to be enough to hold off these uh, evil blukes here. I don't know. Let's see here. Again, all before round 20, before the little tank comes out. And is it enough? Oh, almost was enough. So I'm going to have to actually start buffing these up here. Barely made it that time. That was a little bit scary. But look at all the cash I have from the two cans, 215. So I can buff this one up. I can buff this up. And now the next turn, 140. Look, it costs 140. How are you going to get enough cash if you don't have the two cans? Okay, all before round 20 because that's when the tank comes out. 
Really, really important, everyone. All before round 20. Round 30 is when this game ends. So round 20 is almost done. And look, just one buffed up unicorn, okay, maxed out unicorn, was able to stop that whole onslaught before 20. And now I have all those tokens there. I'm going to max it out. Now these three should be fine here. And then I'm going to focus on adding more uh, toucans for, for cash. Because as you're going to see at round 20, it's going to be pretty difficult. Let's see here. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good here. Not bad. Not bad. Look, all enough to stop. All enough to stop that. Round 20, the tank comes out. So let's kind of see here. Now I'm not too worried about that because I stopped the the little uh, soldier blukes, whatever, and the tank's going to come out at the end. So I'm actually going to focus on uh, buffing that up here. I'm actually going to put another two can here because I want to start making some some dough. So you can kind of see where the, what I'm talking about with round 20 here in a second. So here they come. Uh, they're coming out right here. Boom, here's the tank. And just two unicorns is enough to stop it. Two unicorns. So your job, like I said, is to make cash. Because I stopped it right here, I'm going to focus on making cash. If they were started to crawl down this way, I would be a little bit worried, but I'm not. Okay, I'm going to start adding this fish here because I know round 30 is coming up and I want to make sure it has detection. So I'm going to put it right here because now it can detect ghosts and uh, there's more ghost spooks are going to come out uh, shortly or, or they are throughout, throughout the rounds. So let's see here. Again, best build, queen, and toucans. Keep adding them in. You have to do it at the beginning. If you don't do it at the beginning, you will die. You will die. Okay, so just kind of just be mindful of that. Let's see here. I'm going to max out my toucan. I'm then going to raise up my fish here. And now I have a lot of money. I have, this is 100. Each of these maxed out toucans provides me 25 tokens per wave. So I have hundred and about 150 per round now. And I all have to do it before round 25, everybody. So now that I have a lot of cash, I can just start mixing and matching everybody. I can start adding more uh, queens, which I want to do. Okay, you want to add more queens after you have all this cash here. So I'm actually going to put it down here somewhere because this one isn't getting buffed. This one, like, I'll, I'll just put the queen right here for a second. See how it says cannot detect? Right here, cannot detect. So I want to make sure when I buff up the queen, it's able to detect. So I'm just going to just dump a boatload of cash into here. And then the next round, I'll be able to detect it. And I'll start to put some more uh, fish. I'll start to put some more unicorns. Okay. All before round 30. Once I hit round 30, I want to start focusing more on cash. I want to at least start to have at least 200. So right now I have 100. All these toucans give me uh, 100. I want to at least make 200. So I want to at least have eight uh, toucans there. Okay, that's gonna be really, really helpful. So now I'm just gonna do 100. Now this thing can detect, right? I'm gonna start buffing up this fish here to help me out. And as you can see, this is all before round 30. And I'm doing a pretty good job only using one, two, three, really only, well, one, yeah, well, four, about four um, attack balooks, attack towers. Doing a pretty, doing a pretty good job, okay? So that is the major tip, everybody. You got to add queens in the beginning, at least one queen, then do at least four toucans, then start adding another queen at the bottom, at the top of the map, and start buffing up these blukes that don't have detection. Moose, wizard is, is, is going gonna, is gonna to be helpful. But let me know in the comments below what you do. That's best build with queens and toucans. Don't forget to sub. Nice video. Just make a free comment.